In this video, I'm going to show you how to bind off in knitting. When you bind off, you're going to knit your first two stitches normal, and you're going to slip that first stitch over your second stitch. That way, your stitch is now kind of locked, and you can't drop any stitches. It's It won't be a live stitch anymore. So to bind off, you will knit your first two stitches like normal. You will have two stitches on your right needle. Put your left needle into that first stitch on your left or right needle and slip it over top of that stitch. You'll knit your next stitch and do the same thing. You're gonna slip this stitch over top of this stitch and then off your needle. So slip over and off. Knit your next stitch and insert your needle and do the same thing. Slip it over that first stitch and off of your needle. When you are binding off, you don't want to pull too tight because then your stitches will be too tight and it depends what you're knitting. It could just be smaller than the other end, like I'm knitting an ear warmer right now and I don't want one end to be smaller than the other. So you kind of want to bind off loosely. You'll knit your last stitch, slip that over. And now that you have one stitch left on your needle, you will cut your tail however long you need to cut it and then pull up, take your needle out and then take your tail through that loop and pull it tight to knot it. And there you go. You have just learned to bind off in knitting. It's There's a lot of different ways to bind off. This is the most, I guess, standard, easiest bind off method. Um, and it looks almost like your cast on, not 100%, but it's pretty close. But it works out pretty well. I like how it, and as long as you keep it pretty loose you can see that it is still the same end as my cast on end well i hope this helped and if you have any questions or comments you can leave them down below you can send me an email send me a message on instagram and i'd be happy to help